All right, I figured I'd show you another video on using the remote control. Um, I had a very hard time trying to get my app on my phone or on my iPad to properly work, uh, but I'll show you what I did. Um, so if you go to general uh, and network, um, there is a phone control icon here. And when you click on that, it kind of shows QR codes and how to connect to it, but none of that stuff works, but it shows your IP address. And so that's really what I used um, to add to it. Now, um, I'll show you here my iPad. And so, sorry, there's a screen protector on it. Um, after I connected it, typed in the IP address, it just connected like that. And so it's pretty easy. You have to be in the same network and there it is. And so, you know, you have a variety of settings. You can play music, you can control music, you can see the various tracks showing, um, things like that. Now, um, as you can see here, what's very cool is at the bottom, right there, it has a cast function. And what it does is, it literally casts this screen to your iPad. And so as you can see here, I can fully control the screen. So when I go to settings, and this thing is going to settings, and I'll show you kind of uh, on both how I can control it. So if I click the home button and both go to home button, um, I can click on apps and I can see apps. I can go back and go to music. I see music. And so you essentially have this screen when you're sitting on the couch or even upstairs or in some cases, um, remotely controlled, again, on the same network, and that's how you go about that, right? And so uh, there is, of course, full functionality. You can see kind of, you know, your various music services, the music on the device. I can look at my library and all those things I have connected. I can see my streaming services like Tidal, and so I can launch Tidal Music. It takes a little bit, um, you know, and pick something like click Dire Straits. I can play it, which then will trigger Tidal on here. Boom, and so there you go, Sultans of Swing. Again, playing through Tidal music, so that's remote controlled. That's within the Tidal app that's using within Eversolo, but you can also hit the bottom and then actually see essentially, you know, upcoming songs and other things that are showing. So the remote control app is pretty cool. It has all the sweet streaming services like uh, Kobas, Amazon Music, you name it, things like that. You can use UPnP to kind of connect to a remote server. It has Tidal Connect, so you can control it. But this app, I found I barely use anything else at this point. Um, and, you know, really my favorite feature right now is the fact that I can um, click the cast button and remote control what I have on the screen here. And so you can kind of see uh, what I can do there. So thought you might like it. Uh, pretty easy to use. And, you know, anything you do on here, um, will pretty much happen on um, the Ever Solo. So if I hit pause, it'll pause the music. As you can see, I can hit um, the button here and kind of see what was playing. I can go back to the main screen. You know, I can hit play and turn, say, the equalizer on. Or sorry. Yep. So you can kind of see what that looks like. Again, I have my music off right now. I turn my amp off for this, but um, that's really it. And so you can control pretty much everything you can see on the screen pause, music, play, etc. And it's very useful for remote control um, and managing your settings. So enjoy.